This tutorial has been produced to show you how to go through and engineer field audio acquisition now that we've gone through and built our DSLR camera package to do the same as far as video is concerned. So we're both building the package and we're going to engineer this for field audio as well. It's important that you understand what those differences are. Building the package is the logistics of where things are located and engineering is how we go through and connect everything and then how we go through and uh, monitor and engineer the signals that we're receiving from our audio devices. For the intents of this training, we're just going to work with a single uh, uh, audio source or lavalier. Um, in subsequent uh, training videos, we'll get into multi-channel uh, audio inputs. Okay, so um, to begin with, like we did with the uh, Canon 6D build, locate your whole package, everything that you'll need for acquisition, which will be the, the uh, C6D package, the FA package, the WorkPro um, mat box and uh, cage kit for the camera package and then the tripod itself. Uh, for this one, we're going to be working out of the uh, field audio kit. FA stands for field audio. There are three of these, and so we're working with field audio one. And all three of them are in a Pelican 1500 case like this one. Okay. Open up the case, and here you'll find uh, everything that you'll need for field audio acquisition and to engineer that down to your camera. Starting at the top left, we'll work our way around clockwise. The first thing are the headphones. These are Sony field monitors. These are an industry standard use uh, in audio acquisition. They have the flattest reproduction of audio signal and produce the truest uh, representation of what it is that we're acquiring. Next to that is a clamp that we might use uh, differently if we decide to put the Tascam mixer uh, someplace else on the camera. That clamp comes in handy. We won't be using that though for the purposes of this video. Next to that is the Tascam D60 mixer and uh, recorder. Below there is a pop guard for the Rode um, shotgun microphone. And then right behind that in a little hole is a tiny little satchel that holds the lavalier and all of its accessories. Beneath that then is the is a Rode shotgun microphone with a uh, wind protector on that. All the way over to our left side is a AA battery charger. Those AA's then power the Rode link setup. You see the transmitter on the left and the receiver on the right there. And that completes the inventory of the field audio case. So we're going to uh, start with the mixer and mounting the mixer onto the D-frame of the uh, camera setup. Uh, pull the Tascam out of the Pelican case. And you want to go through and match up that quarter inch uh, bolt to the quarter inch receiver that's on the diagonal, the 45 degree diagonal of the D-frame. Okay, once you put that on there, you'll torque that thumb wheel down to where then the, the mixer is nice and snugly attached to the D-frame. With that on there, then we want to go through and, and mount the receiver, the Roadlink receiver, on the top of the D-frame. Locate the 3 8 uh, Allen bolt that I've put onto the D-frame there, okay? And then you'll see that this the receiver screws into that, and once it's down there tight, the receiver lines up parallel with the D-frame, and it's ready to be engineered. To do so, we want to locate uh, a patch cable that has the 3.5 millimeter ends on it, or the mini plugs on there. You'll plug one of those ends into the jack that's on the receiver, and you'll plug the other end then into the channel 3.4 input on the Tascam mixer. That'll be on the left side of the mixer. Then we want to go through and get audio to the camera, so we're going to take another patch cable, the 3.5 minis, and plug that into the camera, and then that will also be plugged into the mixer in the camera out high line out, I have that engineered for this currently, of the Tascam mixer. Now we're set up to where we're receiving audio through our uh, receiver our wireless receiver from a lavalier or from another type of audio source into the mixer and the mixer out to the camera. We can't do anything though until we have an SD card inserted, uh, formatted, and then inserted into the mixer. So make sure that you're set up properly for that. Back in the Pelican 1500 case then are two more items that we need to pull out of there. One is the small satchel that contains the lavalier and the accessories for that lavalier. And the other one is the Roadlink transmitter for that lav. Open up the satchel and you'll find these items in there. Uh, that's where we found the patch cable, the 3.5 millimeter patch cable. There's also a spongy pop guard. There is an alligator clip to go through and attach the lavalier microphone to our subject. 
uh, the lavalier microphone itself. You see how there are two different diameters on that mic, the, the top skinnier part and the thicker part at the bottom. That thicker part is where the alligator clip goes, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And then there is a wind guard in there as well. Chances are, unless we're shooting outside and it's windy, we're not going to be using that, just so you know. I know it looks cool, but we're not going to be using it unless we absolutely have to. To uh, engineer the clip and the lavalier microphone, you take the microphone and you put it into the spring loop that comes off of that alligator clip. You press with your thumb down on that tab to open that up, slide the mic in there nice and slowly, and then release that tab, and it'll snug down on the thicker part of that lavalier tube. Okay, Once it's there, it's ready to be attached to the talent. Um, you can, there's a, a strain relief guide that's on the top of the alligator clip. Uh, to put the cable through there, and it all depends on maybe what kind of vulnerability this cable might have. It's up to you as the engineer. Now that that's set, we can go through and plug the other end of the lavalier into the road link transmitter, and we'll power the transmitter on. This particular uh, pairing is set for channel 3 on the transmitter, and then when you turn on the receiver on the camera, it is you see that it's also set to channel 3. Um, the RXTX indicates that these have been paired and that they're working together and there's an actual VU meter in the middle there that indicates uh, whether or not we're getting audio. I just don't have audio being sent, so right now there's no indication, but that's where that would show up. You could actually plug in headphones into this and monitor your audio directly to make sure things are, are working well with this. I should note that both the transmitter and receiver require two AA batteries. Make sure they're fresh batteries in there at the beginning of any shoot. One note uh, about the pop guard uh, for the lavalier, not a bad idea to use it, especially if you're hiding the lavalier inside clothing so the tip of the lavalier doesn't get uh, rubbed and induce any kind of noise from clothing. But this is kind of a delicate little piece when you're putting it on, make sure that it fits on there snugly, but don't force it down all the way. And then when you remove it, don't try to remove it by the spongy part, take it off by the grommet part of the uh, pop guard so it doesn't uh, pull off of that base. Okay, it's kind of a delicate instrument and it's uh, kind of a pain to go through and repair. So just be careful with it as we're going through and engineering with that. The last phase of engineering all of this then is the, the ability to monitor what it is that we're uh, acquiring as far as audio goes. And so you want to plug the headphones into the phone jack that's on the right side of the Tascam mixer and we're good to go. To uh, initially set things up, I already have this engineer, but so you know, this mixer is pretty intuitive. There's a couple things that you need to understand about it. Um, as far as all the knobs and, and the buttons and things there, the, uh, the top uh, monitor select button allows you to go through and select which channels you want to listen to. So you can isolate a channel and listen to them. If you happen to be working with two or three actors, you can isolate each channel and make sure that you're getting the proper levels as you listen to them independent of each other. Or you can listen to everything. You can listen to the camera in mix, uh, however you want to go through and set that up. Um, we'll get into the mixer button here in another clip. It's, it gets a little bit more sophisticated. Um, below the monitor select, though, is the menu button. If you click on the menu button, uh, that's controlled by that main enter mark wheel. It's, all, it's a wheel that allows you to navigate the settings that are there. And it's also a button. You can press in on that to select the settings. So for example, I've, I've hit menu. It defaults to the record mode. If I click the button on that, then it would bring up the record mode uh, to be able to go through and engineer that. This record, this uh, mixer enables us to record uh, in dual mode or mono mode uh, and dual in stereo. The dual mode separates the same channel into two tracks and allows us to engineer them separately. So if we happen to over modulate one channel, the secondary channel, uh, depending on how many uh, dBs we have that dual level set, will go through and give us a clear channel within that. We can also go through and engineer what source then, so here I'm working with channel three, which I actually go to channel three and channel four, and I could set up the dual level split with those. Now the Tascam mixer, I think, comes with a default of, of a negative six uh, dB on that. Negative six, negative five is fine. Uh, however you want to go through and set that up. You'll also see that the dual mode is activated with that light that's just beneath my, uh, uh, my index finger. Um, if we were in a four channel, that channel would come up, and then when we start recording, obviously the record light will come up if we're recording down to the task cam itself. 
There are three attenuators or potentiometers at the bottom, uh, not the bottom, at the bottom of the screen, one for channel one, one for channel two. And you see how those divide out into left and right channels. So you can pan those to where they're going to both channels as well. And then the three, four one that I have my thumb and finger on. And as I'm recording, I can go through and ride the levels that way. And that's what you'll be doing as an audio engineer as we get into acquisition. All right, so that's how this whole package is built. Uh, and this camera is ready to go through and start acquiring motion picture uh, digital film for uh, whatever kind of project we might be working on, from documentary to feature uh, to short films, whatever it is that we want to do. And looking forward to uh, producing that with you and watching you get this built and engineered and get it ready to roll. Thanks for watching.